frankly, this is all up to our community. Um, the way we go from the moment you hear this for the next month or two or three is purely up to us in Yuma County. Uh, at this point, there's no vaccine. We are the vaccine. There may not be a vaccine yet, but as scientists work around the clock to get one out to the public, the county, the city, and the community all doing their part to try and keep everyone safe. Kevin Tunnell with the county is one piece of the puzzle, and he sees all the cases and deaths of the virus reported firsthand. I do receive all the numbers, all the data. It's my job to assemble all that data and push it out every day at 3 o'clock. Tunnell, along with the county, makes up just one part of the Joint Information Center between all local governments. But he's been teaching crisis management for FEMA all over the country. We've always known, because of our training, that a time might come where we might come together as a jig. Tunnell was also on the crisis response team when Katrina hit in 2005. Uh, it's, it's a co totally different disaster, a uh, totally different set of circumstances and far more complex uh, than Katrina, for me personally. In June and July, Yuma saw its highest number of COVID-19 cases. Every person that gets sick and, and heaven forbid, every person that dies from this thing, it weighs heavy on us uh, as, as elected leaders, uh, as members of the community, as people who have been here long term. It wasn't until late August into September that numbers started to decline, but the mayor says he was still concerned about several aspects of the pandemic. There's really three disasters as, as I've looked at it from from the very beginning is, you know, obviously there's the, the virus that's making people sick and killing some. Um, there's the economic disaster, and that's when you shut down businesses. And Hoping not to go back to that, small businesses have been able to receive funding from the CARES Act to at least get them by. And, well, there could be more in the future, but industries still felt the impacts, according to Linda Morgan with Visit Yuma, a tourism agency for the city. In April, when the rest of the country was at 85% down on hotel occupancy, Yuma only got to about 64%. Um, off from prior year. Winter visitors, a vital piece of Yuma's economy, also impacted due to COVID-19. Canadian visitors make up anywhere from 30 to 35 percent of our winter visitor population. And she doesn't expect them to come back with border restrictions in the ongoing pandemic, but she says our economy should be able to bounce back. We're going to see backfill with a lot of domestic travelers, those people who are, instead of taking the cruise or flying out of the country, they're going to take uh, trips in RVs locally. So we might not get these people who stay for five or six months, but we're going to see a lot more families traveling by RV. So we're going to get some of that backfill. Data collected from Visit Yuma shows off-road vehicle sales, including RVs, skyrocketed since the pandemic. But back to that third concern the mayor was talking about. That's the mental health of the community. I think we're really going to end up in a spot where the mental health aspect, I don't think, has been looked at enough. And I'm working on some things with uh, some of our local nonprofits to address that. But um, being able to get out and having interactions at some level is important to the mental health of people. We need to find better ways to keep tabs on the me people's mental health. Um, by that, I don't mean, uh, you know, government intervention, but as community members, we have a responsibility in this response, not as a government, but as people. And while the city continues to work on resources for mental health, Morgan says being a rural community with plenty of outdoor activities may be a good thing. What's happening is people are looking for things that they can do while they stay home, while they don't travel, things they can do outdoors with their families. Regardless, the future ultimately up to each one of us. The way we go from the moment you hear this for the next month or two or three is purely up to us in Yuma County. Uh, at this point, there's no vaccine. We are the vaccine. For News 11, I'm Brandon Mejia.